All right, what is up, my best Lawrence? Hope you guys are all doing good. So, check this out. We got a little package from the good old NLBN. All right, guys, shout out to them, dude. They've been supporting the channel and supporting my content, and dude, can't thank them enough. So, let's go on and open this box. Check her out, check her out. Look at that. You know what that says? I don't know. You guys tell me that you can't. El Pescador. So we're gonna open it and we'll see what's inside. You bam! Alright, it's open. Now let's get to the unboxing. You alright guys. So this is the first thing that is up. Check those out. NLBN are gonna come out with these pretty darn soon. So look at those. Beauty, beautiful, beautiful lures. Alright, I'm gonna take it out. Take one out and show you guys how saucy these these look. Alrighty, check that out. Juicy. This thing's gonna get munched, alright? In Minnow Run, this thing will do good. Look at that action. You see that? Beautiful. And not only are they coming out with those, but they had jig heads with them. And these are the jig heads that they're gonna come out with. And I'll show you guys. Look at that. Small, small jig heads. But these things are going to be fuego when they come out. Alright, look at that. Alright, can't wait this to use this in a future video, guys. I'm telling you, this thing's going to slay. We're rocking with the 3-inch paddle tail from NLBN. And shout out to the guys over there for showing us some support and love. They sent us over the 3-inch before they're going to come out. And we're gonna put it to the test and hopefully get on some giants, all right? Um, they will be coming out pretty soon, so just gotta keep waiting. I'm not really sure when the release date is, but as soon as these drop, it's gonna be fire, dude. Guarantee these things are gonna be great for minnow run, throwing at the beach for like snook, and guarantee tarpon are gonna love this thing. I definitely gotta take it to some of my tarp and throw along this dock parallel with it. See if there's any snook staged right under it or right next to it. We got this school right here, so it's a perfect spot to either throw live bait or lures right now because we got the bait fish right there and we got a structure right here. So I'm hoping there's some snook around that are willing to eat the NLBN. Let's see, we got some nice structure right. Oh, look, 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 shrimp, shrimp. I lost him. I really wanted to show you guys him. All right, so we're gonna give a couple casts here because we just saw that shrimp. I don't know if you guys saw him the GoPro. I don't really know where he went, but I'm pretty sure that's why there's some of these bait fish that are out here. They're probably either feeding on the shrimp or maybe there's some like little planktons out here and maybe that's why they're all gathered right here right now. I'm hoping that these bigger fish are gonna notice them and swoop by right here pretty soon. So we're going to stay at this spot right here just because that shrimp and those bait fish were just right here. So that's pretty cool. There's so many ways you can try to find fish, fish structure, fish along the shore bank, uh, fish at docks. You can try to find schools of bait fish, fish those. You can side cast on sunny days. Right now we can't really side cast just because it's, it's cloudy. But we're gonna do our best to see if we can find some fish. We're gonna either cast that structure, like we saw that school of bait right over there on the other side. Um, we're just gonna hopefully stumble upon some snook. That's the main main goal for today. Is either big snook or big trout. And right now I'm throwing like the, the best presentation. Best presentation there is right now. Because there's a lot of small bait fishing. I'm pretty sure that's what they're feeding on today. So, we can get one of these guys to eat the NLBN, that would be primo. I got him! What is that? What is that? Is that snook? Yes! Snook! Woo. On the, look at that, like I was saying, on the NLBN, three enter. No, 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 oh, came off. Damn, look at that. See? Dude, just came crushed it. That would have been my first fish. Ah, 
that would have been my first fish on a three inch but it's okay um you just gotta keep fishing that gives me hope he just came out from around here probably followed it either from there or, or something and i couldn't really take him on shore because they're just a lot of cement and i really don't want him to damage his scales and i was trying to gonna, i was gonna grab him but he jumped off right there it's okay See if there's anything right here. The little rocky area right in front of us. We're gonna do our best cast. Cast before it, past it, and around it. See him get a snook off of it. God, whoa, what is that? What is this? Snook, snook, snook. Look at that. On the paddle tail. Hell yes. Look at this. Hell yeah, dude. On the eight inch, I mean eight inch, three inch paddle toe. Phew. I'm gonna wet this real quick. Just to see how how many inches this little dude is. He's probably gotta get like 22 inches. All right. Put him right there. Open the bail. Okay. Crush the paddle tail all right. Come on, 20. 21? all right look at that okay yeah all right guys check this out on a three inch nlbn paddle tail little 21 inch nut all right we're gonna let him go Phew. all right guys we're gonna let him go beautiful snook. beautiful snook. That. First look of the year. Sunny on my thumb. Alrighty. Just let them revive pretty good. Make sure they kick off strong. Beautiful, healthy snook. Alright, he didn't have him out too long, so he should be fine. Just gotta let him do his thing. It's cold too, so you gotta make sure they get their, you know, strength back. Let's see. Alrighty, he's right there. Gonna make sure he kicks off pretty strong. Oh yeah. Now, on a three inch paddle tail, he chafed it up pretty good. Like I said, always check your leader, see if you're freighted. I'm freighted about like, Five, five inches, six inches right there. So we're gonna cut that off, retie, and keep casting. You. All right, cleaning you guys off. All right, so I switched over to uh, like I think this is um I don't know I don't remember. It's like smoky mullet or if, I'm not smoke mullet. Um, I think it's called like dark horse or something like that. It's uh black with gold flakes. So that was a nice little snook. We retied, um, and we're gonna see if we catch another snook right around here and he fought pretty good that was awesome the first snook of or that was my first snook of the year so Phew. not a bad little dude 21 inches see there's more snooks chilling close by to this dock or along the shoreline the reason why I caught that one, because like I said, that rock area looked pretty good. And usually areas like that hold a little bit more heat or they're just perfect for structured areas for little bait fish to hide. And boom, that, that snook was there waiting for something. And he crushed the paddle tail. Ardo ended up switching over to the top water. And he's going to see if we can get crushed. Maybe that would be nice. We did see some little blow ups on top but back back where we started but no girl let's cast right here real quick no girl el jack van a regresar como en verano y hasta octubre ya yeah. Go! 
I don't. Oh, good snook. Dude, I seen him eat it. <laughs> Bro, good, it's good snook. Dude. Whoa, look at that. Damn, where you'll be there. Look at that beautiful snook on the three inch. Bro, he dumped it, dude. Hell yeah. Look at that, he's ready. Yep. She's mad. Or he's mad, I don't know. Make sure they swim off strong. Let them kick off by themselves. Just like that, you see how he's trying to kick off? Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. You. Yes, sir. So I ended up retying because he frayed me up a bit. But look at that, on the three inch paddle tail. Look, I lay it up. I'm gonna get a thumbnail real quick too, just in case I don't get one later. Look at that, dude. Thumped it. Dude, I saw him eat and I hooked that, and bro, he, he was way healthier than the other one. At least fatter. He was eating good. Um, the other one was an inch off has actually in between so we got two little rock rock jetties mini jetties see there's like a snook in between i'm hoping damn we got a lot of seaweed right here but who knows man there might be like a nice snook right here a lot of seaweed a lot of bait should equal good size Got some. Oh my gosh. What is that? I got something. Is that a trout? No, that's a snook. Not a bad snook. Yep. Dude, he's so dark. Yep, dude. Dark snook. I would say like 23 inches, probably. 24. No, like 23. Look at that. You wanted the paddle tail, didn't you, bud? All right, we can get a little measurement and then let him go. Alrighty. Open the bail out. I know. I'm just gonna let him stay right there. Well, dude. Hell yeah. Alrighty. Just grab your ruler. All right. And all we gotta do is just set him uh, right there. Look at that guys, on the NOBN paddle tail. Three inch right there. Yep, my guy, dude, he's clamping down. 20, 24, look at that. All right, my biggest snook right now so far on the three inch paddle tail. You pinch his tail, 24 right there. Look at that, all righty. Hopefully I got that little fight. Ooh. All right, we're gonna let you go, my guy. Thank you. Dark, dark snook. Fat tail, but just but healthy, good snook. Big girl, look at that, she's ready. Let's see her. Yep, there she goes. Ew. Cause he freighted me up a tad bit. And just in case we hook into a bigger snook on the way back, I'd rather be safe than sorry.